Council Part 2. Here we go. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. Yes, I. We're loading magazines. <laughs> See, you got it. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever loaded a gun. I suppose I owe you an apology. You owe me more I than an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Oh, really? But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I, I thought mean, if I was the one that found everyone, I could control them. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I yeah, apologize. Well, why do you think that is? Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. I was hungry. They didn't feed you? Bill said you'd eat every night. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. A vast virus database has been updated. No? Hmm. Uh, not even lately. Sorry, that was the computer's in Well, I mean, that's to be expected, ain't it? You don't know me, do you? What are they gonna say? When Bonnie ain't here? You wouldn't know what he was talking about. What are I guess they could be and Luke I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Herds have come through before? Yeah. It's happened a few times. We've always come out on the other end, all right? It's something I think about whenever I consider leaving. I mean... And I ain't easy keeping a group this big, fed, and protected. Mm -hmm. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads, and Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is this girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. I think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. You know, some people just gotta piss on every little good thing. Follow me. Come on.
Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Still want to know who that black guy okay, is? Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her, and you don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> I better not get in no trouble. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just mm. keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm? It's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm. Shut up, but... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... It sounds like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough, I guess. Nah, no, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? Okay. Uh... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Okay, so next time we play, we're going to have to pick do our own work. Oh, 
What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I can't no, 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 Jesus. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! I think that guy would have died anyway. Like, I would have done my own work, and then Sarah wouldn't have done her work. We would have died anyway. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple. Just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. <laughs> What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. The f oh my God, I hate you. Okay, I'm not liking this at all. Get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done. And... Get out of there, come on. Yeah, I'll go. Save your ass. Jesus. 
Hey, it's so nasty. Shit. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Come on, come on. Now is not the time to be... Goof it off here. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Let him go. Please. Why would I do that? I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. <laughs> you make 
sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. <clears throat> you understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. And we're more alike than you think. Um, There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized that back then, <laughs> you were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're going to get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. Well, what if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn thing in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointing toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? 
because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get loop the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Hey, no, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, well, so we get you. that truck Thank you, radio. Kenny, for your he support. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. <gasps> is it her? It's her! Is it her? What did I ever hear you say and it's just some crazy stupid shit? It's a sh girl. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. But now I don't know who's crazier. Lee Trust says that to Clementine. I've before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Uh, good one, Lee. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. I'll just blindly Where the hell trust she you. Come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at her. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. I like Mike. Don't let go. I got you. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Or it's gonna hit something. Something's gonna happen. So fuck up my whole plan. Try to hurry, alright? I don't they... think they're the sharpest guns in the world. But Wait, know what are you doing? Here. They see you in your bunk. We're all done. I don't even know what we're doing. He's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. We're in trouble. He's not gonna notice I'm missing, really. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to not notice. Even though Sarah's not around anywhere. Anybody notice that? I don't like this plan. What the hell am I supposed to do? 
strategy, huh? Yeah. Okay, Bill. Go on. No, no, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, man. I don't think Bill's gonna put him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Considering he's Do dead? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. putting these walkie talkies. She's gonna get caught. She's gonna fall or something. Okay. She's gonna get caught here, I bet. <sighs> yeah, and then turn around and then, okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, and then um, we'll continue.